your take. Good morning, thank you for having me. A take on this data, encouraging data, actually. Um, we have seen a number of measures after the July Politburo. Now, piecemeal approach, as you say, not the bazooka markets were probably hoping for, but I think this will, 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 will start affecting the economy gradually, and our view has been for short-lived cyclical rebound in Q4, and this data point in that direction, so that's good. Uh, what's less good, that such headwinds remain. So is this sustainable? I would say no without uh, further Let's not forget these are base effects a lot of this as well. So, you know, we have to take that. And China was under lockdown this time last year in many parts. True, but they were, uh, they they were reflected in expectations, and these yeah. numbers beat those expectations. Yeah. Yeah. So I think there is some good news here. Again, is it sustainable? This depends really much on, on, on the policy action uh, further um, along the way. And uh, decisive action is needed here for a sustainable rebound. But uh, cyclical news are good here. So you think the case for more stimulus, is, is that strong right now? I think, yes. Is compelling, uh, especially on the fiscal side, uh, but we would expect also monetary policy to, uh, to continue um, you know, the easing cycle in 2024. And banks, I mean, they've got to start lending, and they're not, even though they've been encouraged to. This is going to be key to get the property market out of the, 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 the present mire it's in. Yeah, but you cannot push on a string, so you need to simulate demand here, and I think fiscal policy plays an important role. Um, what does this mean for overall... Um just this consumption side of things, right? Because the housing market is still that pain point that we see. Can consumption still remain strong if the housing market continues to weaken? No, I think you need to fuel it with, 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 with further measures. I think that's the key point. Property market is such a, uh, you know, uh, an overarching element in, in, in the old uh, you know, picture here and with a lot of spillover effects. Well, it was part of the old the playbook as well, wasn't it? They're not gonna, they don't want to go back to that, do they? No. And so the structure of the economy is changing, and these are some of the growing pains yeah. of that, if you will, in that seismic, seismic shift that's taking place. So how much is it structural, how much is it cyclical, and what will be the future structure of this Chinese economy yeah. to drive growth? It's very much structural, and here the, 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 the important thing is the shift to support consumer demand mm. with fiscal policy, and we're not there yet.